Bobby Shelton is at this par five hitting his second. It's going to be more reachable today for these players if they drive it in the fairway helping breeze at 14. And that oh, is what yes. just happened. How about that? <laughs> From 258 wow. yards away. Since 1983 that is the 139th double eagle on the PGA Tour. Biondi a Florida Gator. The rough at nine. Boy, it is straight downhill from back there but it doesn't matter if you haul it. Pretty straightforward pitch shot here. He's got plenty of green to work with. We going to see another one go in. Yes we are. They're hauling them out from everywhere here at Innisbrook today. And that grain's laying away from the hole, which makes it tougher sometimes, but. Oh, that's how you get out of trouble. How many hole outs are we going to see today? <laughs> Carl draws another one. Has to try and get some air under this if he can and land it just on the green. Or have another hole out. This crazy stuff by you on today. Spence it from the left bunker. Playing it well out to the right. Go. Oh, really good. Go, go in. Big <laughs> drive by Shoffle. He's got 231 to the green. Good shot by him. He'll have an eagle putt. That for birdie. And he would tap this on in. So you're thinking, okay, well, Xander takes care of business, which he did not do. Beautiful angle. That was a, oh, that was a great place to miss that. With this approach shot. You have a whole location just front right at six today. Spins that beautifully. Sander hit the ball beautifully yesterday. The putter wasn't going his way, but gets that to fall. Take advantage of these par fives. You have an eagle putt now for Xander. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Jumps him up the leaderboard. Aaron talked about always something to play for. These guys have a lot of pride, like Xander Schauffele. You're not going to win this week, but you want to play it out. What's he made now? This is what, either 42 or 43. Great oh, there putt. We go. Great putt. He's got the longest made cut streak going on the PGA Tour right now. I think this was 43 straight. Big day ahead for Chandler Phillips. Just his 12th start on the PGA Tour. Boy, sounded really good. Oh, and yeah. it is great second shot. What a terrific start. Let's see if he can make an eagle putt at the first. Did he hit it? Yes, he did. What a start for Chandler oh, Phillips. Oh. And look out for the youngster. Poured it right in the middle. What a dream beginning. As we go to the 13th, this is our first look at this hole today. And this has been a tough hole all week. Xander Schauffele. You look at the ball speed there, trying to move it a little left to right to this back right hole location. Wow. Well, that's what soft greens have done with this hole all week. Not the closest. We'll have to check that, but not the closest so far. Oh, hit the stick on the fly <laughs> and ends up within 10 feet. He hit it so square. Watch yeah. where it ends up. Oof. Oh, Almost man, that bounced in. The hole. Xander Shoffley, can he keep it going? Wow, this guy, what a rally down the stretch he's got going here. Trying to post a number and then see what happens ahead of him. 
Boy, this is another one. Impressive back nine he's putting together. Look at that. Excuse me, that's the fourth hole coming off that par save at three. That par save was huge for him, and this is on a good line. Just yeah. gives you that boost. All right, I saved par, tough hole there. Now let's hit some greens. Let's get the ball close and make a few birds. Cameron Young. Cuts the deficit in half. He's now just one back of Keith Mitchell. That par putt at three was big. Now we're currently at five. Phillips to tie for the lead. And he does. Look out for the man who's never been in this position before in his career. Just 12. Another chance at a fourth birdie and an eagle already at 11. And now he waits to see if eight under even has a chance. A 65. Great round, but an incredibly good back nine. Boy, he put on a serious rally. Mackenzie Hugh is now hitting his third. Win from the left. He likes to draw it. Let's see if he can. Yeah, jump. This might go in. Oh, we thought we saw another hole out. Played that first bounce perfectly. Had to battle his way out of trouble and still not out of the woods yet. Oh, that helps. That's one way to get a bogey. Crazy. And that's just been the theme of today. We've seen hole outs. Peter Malnati for birdie at the sixth. And Malnati drops it in to get to eight under and jam up the tie for third. Cameron Young come up short with his tee shot of the par three eight. Played his second to this point, so he's just off the edge of the green for par. That is what Cameron Young is going to have to do today to win. That's what he has not been able to do. Yes, I'll make a long putt to close out his round on 16 yesterday. This one coming up the hill just to his left. And that looks good. So after we went through about an hour of play with seemingly everybody kind of coming unglued, McKenzie Hughes holds a long birdie putt at eight to regain the lead by himself. At the 10th, let's check in with the rookie Chandler Phillips. Trying to get things back moving in the right direction. Does a nice job of finding the fairway. Now can attack. Oh, man. As we head to the 10th, Phillips for birdie. And he's not going anywhere. Definitely not out of it. Malnati is at that number at the 10th. You can see the ball just narrowly missed a divot. That's a good break, and he took advantage with a clean line. No matter. The Malnati yellow golf ball is stiff for another bird to 11. Chandler Phillips has a chance to tie for the lead. See if that collar bothers him a little bit with that putt. No, what an aggressive stroke there. three for six out of the sand this week get it up and down this is a pretty basic shot for any player oh, that's divine beautiful shot little uphill lie easily get it up there you don't have to spin that Malnati now with his third at the par five well he got a good break he was in the pine straw there with a clear opening and just smashed a long, long iron there and got a good position should be able to get this close good kick yeah wow, chicks it up nicely shots in a row Steve the last hole to tap in Didn't go after it very hard. Oh, yeah. But he has lined up for a birdie that would tie him with Hughes at 10 under in the continued quest. And he's putted much better this week. 
This season came in ranked 122nd in strokes gained putting, but Young has it going, and we've got three tied at the top. From Malnati. Coming out of the first cut, got to be a little it. careful with this. And this thing's falling out of the air. Oh, he didn't look like he hit it that well by his reaction. He kind of slumped over as if to say, get going, but that is just in great shape. And that yellow ball just went down. Malnati says his 10th season out here, I can't think of very many times in all of the decade that I've had a chance when I teed it up on Sunday. He leads on the back nine here. Hughes now for his bogey at 13. Yeah, okay. You know, justice prevails a little bit there for Hughes. Two bogeys in a row. Limits the damage, but he drifts three back. A face open. Nice little explosion shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get a little bit more feel. The technique is there, he feels. But in terms of the artistry, trying to get more of the creativity back into those two elements of his game, and he's starting to see some dividends in his performance. So not a lot of winning experience in this group here. This is pulled. And just guarded against going right of the green. And Nestles that is down. That is not going to be fun. You got to take advantage of uh, situations like this if you're going to win for the first time in some nine years. This is, uh, this is beyond a good break, Dan. I mean, he even if he had to drop in the first cut, now he's on the fringe and can just put a, the putter down and uh, take advantage. Again, the lie was nasty. Malnati's putt on the way. A little left coming back. Narrowest part of the green here, this whole location in the front. Gives it plenty of room to the right. Wins moving it back right on top of the he flag. Likes it, yeah. His reaction was good. How about that? What a, a shot. A laser from Peter Malnati. And Peter Malnati is now in position to earn his second career PGA Tour victory. He's the first man to reach 12 under par. Oh, that is a dime right there. One of the biggest shots of his career delivered from the fairway bunker here which will put him on the precipice of winning again. 127. And that eight under, still a lot to play for. Birdie would go a long way here, take him out of that tie. He just might get one here and jump up into that uh, tie for third with Phillips. It was almost the finish, the kind of finish you dream of. A birdie walk off. Is he got a mark or tap? He got a mark, right? Hughes well, has most to clear. guys mark. Hughes some has guys, to clear some guys like to just get out of nah, the way. Nah, nah. But yeah. Good looking putt. That's huge. He's on the Mike Weir's radar for the international side. And an unpredictable PGA Tour season. Peter Malnati enjoys his day back in the winner's circle. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, Click here and to subscribe, click here.